Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Trump, of course, on cue said the straw has been nothing more than a distraction from the real crimes of the Biden crime family, which has raked in tens of millions of dollars from China, Russia and Ukraine. Just in case you're wondering mm-hmm. if this is going to be 100 percent projection and gaslighting this campaign. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Brace yourselves. Right. Yep. The Republicans have had every opportunity to prove those allegations yep. and they can't. Exactly. Oh, God. But, that, but that's what I'm saying. They, they don't pause a second nope. to go, oh, this just blew up your whole two systems of justice. No, nope. Oh, he shouldn't have been convicted of that. Um, yeah, Ellie Mistal, our friend, uh, said, is Joe Rogan going to say that Hunter Biden will be a hero to black people because he was convicted on a gun charge? Or does he only roll that out, that kind of racism out when he can say something stupid that's pro-MAGA? Uh, I heard you and uh, Bob Seska played that w- with you guys the other day, Jody. They're just... Uh, I, I've yeah. never seen this kind of blatant outward racism. It is. It's I don't awful. know which douchebag said it about, like, you know, oh, now black people love Trump because he's a felon, as if I think it was Shapiro. all blacks are criminals. Like, like Charles it just, Kirk. It was one of the two. Uh, what's the difference? <sighs> you know what? I know that we have liberal helpers on our side, like uh, Bridget, who uh, threaded Martha Ann Alita, quote un- Alito, quote unquote, satisfies herself by dreaming up bigoted flags to anger and threaten her neighbors. Could someone buy that woman a vibrator? See, just help her. I help her. Really? Is that how you have to satisfy yourself with hate? I yeah. mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> I hope her, her neighbors turn the gay up to 11 this month. Oh, God, I hope so, gay too. Gay up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love this one. Charlotte Kreimer said, huh, so it turns out Samuel Alito does understand why the right to privacy is important. Thank you. Yeah. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Okay. Uh, oh, Rachel Bittacoffer, whom we love. Uh-huh. By the way, she said, uh, Bob asked her, what grade would you give Jamie Harrison? And she said, A+. Plus. Yeah, he's doing so great. stop the bedwetting and the hand-wringing. He knows what and he's also, doing. there's a very good chance he's going to do. Chicago section. You can't say that. He yes, has... I can. It could happen. It's alleged. He's very busy. Yeah, especially yeah. this convention. Lawrence O'Donnell is a very <laughs> he's, he's is a very soft yes for New York. Rob Reiner is a very soft yes for L.A. These are very busy, important people. He's, he's throwing a week long party. Yeah. Yes. That he needs to prepare for. Yes. yes. That we will be helping with. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Right. Uh, Bradley Moss said, so essentially the argument of Fox News legal pundits is Trump is too old to serve jail time for a crime for which he was convicted, but not too old to serve as president. Got it. Yes, he is only old and decrepit as it relates to prison. Right. All right. Uh, More on the hypocrisy. We have another McGovern, I believe. Yeah. Uh, So here's the bottom line. Republicans just can't wrap their heads around the idea that their presidential candidate, your presumptive nominee, is a convicted felon. That is not the result of a sham process or some vast conspiracy by the Biden administration. That is the result of the truth. And these attacks on our justice system have to come to a stop. They are dangerous, they are irresponsible, they are nothing but false conspiracy theories being Mm -hmm. pushed to try and excuse the actions of the former president, and they are made even more absurd by the outcome of the trial this morning in Delaware. I'm really sick of them saying that it was a conflicted judge who ruled over that. Oh, you know what? No. no. The judge did not give down give the sentence. And he's not a at all. Trump appointee. Was, right, exactly. And the, the, the David Weiss is a Trump appointee. Yeah. yeah. And but what happened to the screaming for weeks that it's in Delaware, so the jury's going to be rigged because they all love the right. Biden family. <laughs> Again, they think that Biden had his own son convicted. Right. Yes. For political because, reasons. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, I derailed my own thought about Rachel oh, no. Bittacoffer. Oh. It was her tweet. She said, there you go. One sentence that answers the what does Project 2025 do? My version, Project 2025, strips the rest of the government of, of its power and gives it all to Trump. Yep. So if that's you're comfortable with that, then yeah, by all means. Okay, it's weasel, cowardly Republican weasels like this that I was talking about. Paul Ryan. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm saying. If you do anything other than vote for Joe Biden and say vote for Joe Biden, you are getting Donald Trump back in office. Yep. But is this their version of bravery, mm-hmm. I guess? I voted for him in 2016, hoping um, that there was going to be a different kind of person in office. Oh, please. And I do think character is, is, is a 
really important issue. If you put yourself above the Constitution, as he has done. But what happened? What I, turned, think, what I think that makes you unfit for office. Was the whole January 6th thing? Uh, I, that's a part of it. I think it's a contribution of factors, but I think it really is just character at the end of the day. And the fact that if you're willing to put yourself above the Constitution, an oath you swear when you take office, in federal office, whether it's president or a member of Congress, you swear an oath to the Constitution. And if you're willing to suborn it to yourself, I think that makes you unfit for office. Does it? These cowards, it's like the equivalent of writing a strongly worded opinion piece about Hitler. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, going to vote for some, he's going right. to write in a candidate like yeah. he did They said, are you going to vote for time. Biden? Oh, no, I think he's terrible. His policies are terrible. It's like, what? They're warning that he is a clear and present danger to the United States and to the world. Yep. But, you know, are you going to vote? No. Right? They go right up to the line and then, you know. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Jamie Raskin and AOC. With the Hunter Biden verdict and the Donald Trump verdict, the rule of law is just working and they're intervening, as you say, in a a state case in order simply to placate Donald Trump. Precisely. And what we're also seeing here is the stark contrast between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And in President Biden, we have both, yes, a loving father who is there to be supportive of his son, but also a president who respects rule of law and is willing to accept the outcomes of a case. Yeah. Chris, who said, uh, as I said last week, I'm the president. This could be the easiest guess the quote ever. He's still going to get it wrong. But I'm also a dad. Jill and I. It's not going to help. Love our son. (laughs) And we are so proud of the man he is today. So many families have had loved ones battle addiction, understand the feeling of pride seeing someone you love come out on the other side and be so strong and resilient in recovery. As I also said last week, I'll accept the outcome of this case and will continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. <laughs> said that. Augie doggy and doggy oh, daddy? Oh, Chris. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, dog. I am so... Oh, my God. No, it was the president, Joe Biden. He and his wife, Jill. I, it could have been doggy daddy talking about Augie doggy. Right. right. Okay, AOC. (laughs) Whereas you have Donald Trump, who takes and weaponizes the seats of government, the seats of power, and embarks on a campaign of political intimidation in order to rest and and secure outcomes that personally benefit him. And that, at the core, is part of the, the stakes of our democracy that are before us today. Because once rule of law goes out the window, it is not something that is easy to get back. And it is very much a part of the, of the decision that we have to make before us in the next few months. Amen. Um, yeah, as I was saying, you know, they had all this queued up no matter what happened, right? Charlie Kirk uh, wrote on Twitter, Hunter Biden guilty, yawn. The true crimes of the Biden crime family remain untouched. This is a fake trial trying to make the justice system appear balanced. Don't fall for it. One of the most vetted humans on the planet besides Hillary right. Clinton is is. Joe Biden. I, Stephen Miller said the DOJ is still Joe Biden's ele- uh, pro- election protection racket. I mean, <laughs> you, you cannot win with these people, no. which is why it, it's... Election? Are we still on the election was stolen? Is that what he Oh, is? yeah. Yes. The election protection I, racket? I don't... I don't something, Hunter... Something. Joe Biden's, Joe Biden's crimes, crimes, something, the real crimes, or they haven't It makes no to sense. That's why it's hard to... Something, something. I need, You know what I need directly it. in my veins? Little Jared Moskowitz, please. Thank you. <laughs> He's been found guilty. Right. I mean, the idea that you now see my colleagues across the aisle trying to say this is all part of the plan. I mean, just sounds ridiculous. But there, there is something that did or I should say did not happen, Joy, in this case. You didn't see members of Congress going to the courthouse, standing with Hunter, you know, in their men's warehouse suits, uh, holding press conferences. Very true. <laughs> One more. Jared Moskowitz. No Democrat is called to defund the FBI or defund the DOJ. No Democrat is calling for civil war uh, as a result. No Democrats stand for the rule of law. Remember, law and order. Uh, you know, and, and we've been saying that Trump's not above the law. Hunter Biden's not above the law. No one is above the law. Uh, and it is amazing to see the stark contrast between how Democrats handled today and how Republicans handled this whole thing over the last couple of weeks. Thank you. And leave it to the comedians, the truth tellers. Jimmy Delaware, Kimmel. the high profile trial of Hunter Biden ended badly for Hunter. He was found guilty on all three counts. His father did a terrible job of rigging this. He really, <laughs> Hunter was convicted on three felony gun charges, which means he's now only 31 felonies away from being the Republican nominee for president. 
All right. Uh, because we are uh, liberal helpers, Lynn on Twitter says, Jody, shut up, song clicks should be used in the presidential debates whenever Trump goes over his time limit. Yes. Okay. That's my Jody shut up. Yeah. That's my Jody shut up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Hang on. Hold, please. Uh, oh. oh, no. My mouse is being... Squirrely. Persnickety? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, it has a mind of its it own. It does. It's not going anywhere. That you want <laughs> it to go. Wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hi, Pam in New Hampshire. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, That's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about oh, the carpet. No. Okay. All right. We'll try to fix that. Oh, yep. spinning, ball, spinning of ball of death. All right. Well, Pam in New Hampshire, I'm coming to you as soon as I... Okay, let's try one more time. Oh, goodness. Hi. Uh, Pam. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's hi, oh, Stephanie. Hi. Yay. Hi, Pam. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'd like to know how that uh, laptop was able to be used when it went through everybody's hands, but yet turned over to the FBI. It's been doctored, disseminated. How do we know that was Hunter's voice on it? Right. And they worked with the Russian spy. Mm-hmm. How is that tape being able to be used? If he has grounds for appeal, that's the one right there. Yeah. I... So much effery, so little time. You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 